I'm here at Elizabeth Park Elementary where something very special is about to happen. This summer I interviewed the Anstey family who were in need of a wheelchair accessible vehicle for their son Jake, which are very expensive. But today they are in for quite the surprise. Your come see your new van. <laughs> so Jake up here, this is where mom gets in, right here. On January 8th of this year, Jake had a cardiac arrest, which took him from a very active, social, fun-loving little boy to um, in a wheelchair, nonverbal. We were so excited to be home, and then we were immediately met with the reality that that is accessible transportation. and. Uh, we had a lot of stress, a lot of struggle, major limitations, even with booking a day or two in advance, we weren't able to get them where we wanted to get them. Our business in particular uh, provides a network of transportation systems to hundreds of kids in the metro region that are in situations similar to Jake's. Um, but the reason I got involved is because of Jennifer and Joanne. So I was a teacher at Elizabeth Park Elementary for three years in a row and um, of course I knew Jake from being a teacher here and his story hit really close to home for me and when I seen his story and realized he's such a young boy and he can't get to birthday parties or special events, I knew that we had to do something. So uh, through a text message between myself and Joanne and Evan, I said, hey Evan, do you want to go have son of Anne? <laughs> and he said, Jennifer, I'm going to give you a call. Oh, I can't even, my heart is about to burst. Ever since I got the news from Get Messy and Evan Bercy, I have been making a list of all the places I want to take Jake. Uh, it's getting long now. We're going to be on the go. And I am so incredibly thankful. And there's no, there's no, I said to my husband, he's right there. I said, like, how do you say thank you for a gift this big? Yeah. 